stick in GEM need to find a mobile base to work from and want to keep their carbon footprint at a minimum. They've come to this scrap heap to collect an old vehicle to recycle. Well, this even got turbo written on the front of it. Dick, this is it. Yes, it's our horse box. I love it. Their plan, to convert this old livestock transporter into an eco workshop. That's if it starts. I've left the keys in it. Here we go. <laughs> but who, practice makes perfect. Give it that's, a chance, give it a chance. That sounds great. At the moment, this truck is an environmental disaster zone. Yeah, that's not the right colour, it's not very nice either. But once she's been given a thorough green makeover, this horse box will be all set to help clean up Europe. This old nag of a vehicle could have ended up in the slaughterhouse, but now the planet mechanics are heading to Dick's farm to give her a new lease of life. It's now officially a workshop. Power. Power. Your house, Dick, you should know where that is. I can find some juice, mate. It'll be green juice as well. Good. Dick generates his own electricity using solar panels, wind turbines, and his pride and joy, a homemade water turbine. He spent two years converting a derelict shell into this self-sufficient eco-homestead. Jem and Dick plan to make the most of the elements. They want to be totally environmentally friendly wherever they park up. They're determined to use renewable energy to power their workshop on wheels. The way your hair's moving, Dick, makes me think the wind's doing something right Right, here. well, I, I'll take the wind park, because I actually, I think wind park's great right. fun. Right, I've got the um, very simple system we're going to use here, right? So we've got a mass sitting on the top of our vehicle, yeah? yeah? And then we've got a, this is called a gin pole. It's on a hinge, yeah? And when we pull the, uh, from the back on the cable, it should just swing upright. Cool. And the top of this will have our turbine. We'll yeah. get into location. The cavalry are here. We will make you green. I'll take the sun. Good. I want to run this by you because right. solar panels are fairly big for the energy you get. So I figure we get like the biggest uh, solar panel we can afford. We stick it on a turntable on the roof so we can clock it round and catch the sun wherever it's going. So it's not relying on my parking. Okay, well, so we need the ability, we need to be able to find south. Right. Because we want to have as much sun as possible and we want to get it at the right angle so we have as much sun as possible. So that's a turntable with an up and down thing. Dick and Jem have just one day to get the horse box energy self-sufficient before they hit the road. They want to generate electricity with a wind turbine and a solar panel on the roof. They're fitting a rack of batteries to store the energy, which can be topped up when the truck's on the road, just like a car's battery. So when they park up and start work, they should have all the power they need. Dick's working on the pole that will be used to lever the wind turbine into position on the roof. Ow! That end goes in the hole. Happy go, Jeff. Got a very good day. Good man. The electricity generators are finally in place, but there's much more to do to get their workshop finished. They're going to have to work late into the night to get their horse box ready for action. The next morning, and the Planet Mechanics Eco Workshop is up and running. Dick and Jem are in the south of England, on their way to the city of Bath. They're meeting Daniel Blackstone, who needs their help to take on an environmental challenge. Daniel runs a popular sandwich shop in one of Bath's Georgian cobbled back streets. He's doing a roaring trade with his environmentally friendly, locally sourced organic produce. Now he's keen to branch out and deliver takeaway lunches. It'll be great for business, but Daniel is worried it won't be so good for Bath. The last thing eco-minded Daniel wants to do is add more gas-guzzling delivery vehicles to the streets of Bath. This World Heritage site already has a poor record for air pollution.
So can the Planet Mechanics build Daniel a prototype vehicle that can deliver sandwiches without leaving a toxic aftertaste? 